any order you guys make on the website will give you a chance to win. You can win a Bitax 403, a Bitax 800, or a Bitcoin node with Umbrella OS pre-installed, fully synchronized, two terabytes of storage, 16 gigs of RAM, and an i5. Let's get to the video. Let's go, guys. Thank you so much for your pre-orders. The Oct Axes have arrived right on time. Today is December 29th. Uh, 15 have arrived. There's another five arriving tomorrow, and that is um, batch number one. So whoever ordered early, thank you guys so much for placing your pre-orders. Um, these are going to get packed right now, and I'm going to get it out ASAP. The five that are arriving tomorrow, I'll get those out ASAP as well. They're going to go out in the order it was received. If you guys don't know, I have a website where I sell mining hardware. It's called soloblock.io. When you have a second, please check it out. I'm super excited to get one of these unboxed and to show you guys. And yeah, if you guys want to place pre-orders, the next batch is on the way. It's estimated to arrive uh, mid to late January. Please place your orders so you can get in line. And yeah, I got good value on them. I'm selling them for $679. I believe I am the cheapest on the market. They will ship from the US reliably. You don't have to worry about tariffs. You don't have to worry about getting stuck in customs. You don't have to worry about losing it. So all of that is out the window. I provide warranty, whatever you guys need. I'm here for you guys. And let's get to unboxing this. Nerd Octax, 9.6 Terra hashes, $679. Let's go. Let's open this up. All these open a little bit differently. I'm going to open this way. Pop up on the top, there was styrofoam, it just fell. This is the styrofoam right here. So, these ones, um, so I try to sell everything in black stands, but sometimes when the factories are out, you know, we'll have to get orange stands. So these 15 came with orange stands. The other five, I believe, are coming with black stands, but um, it may vary slightly. So, um, I would recommend to first take out the power supply because it's packed in here pretty tightly. When you guys do remove the devices, whatever device it is, just be very careful because sometimes it's packed very tightly. You don't want to break any capacitors off in the back. I actually have done that before. So, just keep an eye out for that. And let me try to get this pulled out. Well, let's just pull the whole thing out of the box. Place it down gently. This is the most powerful solo miner that is out right now on the Axe OS. US power cable included, XC60 guys, no barrel connectors. So I would pull these, up. look at this, massive, massive, massive. Beautiful, 12 volts, 18 amps. Let's get this thing out, let's get the beast out. If you don't mind, just count it for a second. This is actually my first time seeing an Octax in person. Sorry, I'm moving the camera all sorts of ways. And almost got it out, just trying to be super careful. Oh, there we go. Wow. Dang, this thing is a beast. Man, look at this thing. It's beautiful. Wow, <laughs> look how big this thing is. This thing is, man, this thing is sick. Let's take a look at the back. Excellent. These are, wow, beautiful, beautiful. These are dope. Really like this. Stan is very high quality too. Is the Stan 3D printed? Wow, you can't, I can't even tell if this is 3D printed. Oh, it is 3D printed. They must use a super high quality 3D printer because the layer lines are very thin. XT60 connector, 15 amp fuse. Very cool. Man, this thing is awesome. Dual fan. This has 8BM1370 chips. So, as you know, the Bitax Gamma has one. This has eight. These have four. These have eight. Price per terahash, 679 divided by eight, whatever that equals. I know it's a good deal. Man. These are going to fly off the shelf. So the next batch, like I said, mid to late January, um, if you guys want to get in on that, I would say put your pre-orders in now because these are super, super popular and everybody is placing orders for these now. It's funny because as soon as I'm getting them, a whole bunch of other YouTubers are starting to review them, which is cool. Everybody's getting their hands on them, it seems, but I mean, you guys already know people are charging $1,000 for this plus shipping. I'm doing 679 from the US. 
So just be patient with me a little bit. Get your pre-orders in as soon as they arrive. I'm sure you can tell from other people commenting. I get things out ASAP uh, for warranty. If you have any issues, I got you guys. And yeah, let's get this thing powered on. Man, this thing is amazing. Here we go. XT60. Let's pop this in. Fans are already spinning. I love how the UI is green on this. Kind of differentiates from the other miners. We're powered up. What an awesome looking device. This is this is crazy. 9.6 tera hashes. I've seen people already overclocking these with ease up to like 10.5 tera hashes. So these things are meant to mine some serious hash power. $679 for this. I don't know. I mean, you guys tell me, don't you guys think this is a good deal for you know what you get? Compact form, 9.6 tera hashes. Really dope. Let me go ahead and, well, let's just take a little bit closer look. This thing is beautiful. Once you get a closer look at it, we'll go ahead and open up the Axe OS and view the stats. And there are different manufacturers that make these. Same thing with every single miner. So there's different manufacturers that make them. So they call them like revision one, revision two, but it doesn't necessarily mean that revision two is better than revision one. They just call it that because another factory made another revision and they're called, they call theirs revision number two. So I'm not sure really what revision number this is called, but it does come with a 15 amp fuse. So yeah, soloblock.io guys, if you want to support what I'm doing and you want to get good deals on mining hardware, just place an order. We got them coming in. All right, let's go to the XOS. All right, so I connected to the Wi-Fi of the device by simply going to Wi-Fi and clicking on the device, then this will pop up. Normally on other Axe OS devices, it will just ask you for your uh, Wi-Fi and password, but on this one, it kind of already opens up the Axe OS web GUI here. You're just gonna go to settings. Here's the Wi-Fi. I had to type on my Wi-Fi, type in your Wi-Fi password. Hit save restart and now we're just gonna wait for it to reboot all right 9558 giga hashes per second that means 9.5 tera hashes per second that's what the screen shows as well and man this thing is a beast i love this thing all right so asic voltage 1.15 volt standard it's a 12 volt system which is great it means lower amperage through the rest of the through the wires in the power supply so 136 watts is what we're pulling is what it shows in the software currently obviously it just started so it needs some time to stabilize the vr temperatures at 34.8 asic temperature 49.5 degrees celsius fans are running at 2500 rpm it's pretty quiet so it means nothing compared to like you know those huge asics that sound like jet engines so we're at 600 megahertz on the frequency asic voltage 1.15 so 9.6 gig hashes per second, I mean tera hashes per second, shares. So these share numbers might, you know, go up super fast because the pool, usually the factory, they test it on a pool with very low difficulty. So the shares just start stacking up hecka fast. But once you get into a proper pool and you adjust the difficulty for that pool, you'll see this will be more consistent. So, so far, zero rejected shares. The efficiency on the Axe OS is showing 14.11. So this is really good. Swarm feature is here available, obviously. Uh, it's scanning my network, but we don't really need to see that. Here's the settings. So this is the factory's pool that they have here. S19 simulator means the fan is moving almost at full blast. So they have the shutdown temperature at 90 degrees Celsius, okay. You have the option to flip the screen here. Update the firmware. Alerts, security system bm 1370 chips let's go back to the dashboard and let's see what we're doing so yeah 9.69 tera hashes so oh yeah man this thing this thing is amazing so if, you know i i mentioned this already so you guys have already seen the prices that these are selling at thousand dollars plus i mean anybody in the right mind knows that that's a rip off you guys so i'm trying to make it fair for you guys and 
I'm trying to order more and more quantities so I can get my costs lower. But even at my capabilities right now, I'm able to give you guys these types of prices. So this is a huge investment for me, huge risk I'm taking as well. Um, and hoping to get you guys mining hardware at a decent price. And in return, obviously, I'll make a little bit of profit, but I'm not out here price gouging like everybody else trying to make maximum amount of profit from you guys. I know obviously times are hard. Not everybody can afford a thousand dollar unit, but you know, 670 bucks, $679 for this. I think it's well worth it. The price per tera hash is really decent. The hash rate is really good. And yeah, I mean, there's not really much other to say than this thing looks really nice on your desk. If you guys want to place a pre-order for one of these, please visit my site. Please support me. There's not that many resellers that sell these within the US. I'll provide you guys customer service, warranty. If you order it from China or if it ships from China, you have an issue. You guys know that they make you pay for the shipping back to China. And then usually the shipping from China back to here. So at that point, you know, that's going to cost you probably two, three hundred dollars. And is it even going to be worth it to get the thing like warranty repaired with me? If you have an issue, obviously there can be issues with any device. But if you do have an issue with the device that you buy from me, you ship it back to me and I collect them in a larger box and I can send it back to the manufacturer for repair or exchanges. And that way it's possible to do this on a much cheaper scale rather than you guys trying to send one unit all the way back to China. It just doesn't work out. And you know, if you have an issue, obviously if I have it in stock, I'll replace it for you on the spot. And, you know, if I don't have it, I'll offer you store credit, other terminals, or I can just give you a full refund. I say terminals because I'm just so used to saying terminals. I mean, uh, the miners itself. But yeah, everything looks to be working great. And to me, this looks like a super solid unit. Nerd Oct Axe. I'm super excited to get these to you guys. And if you guys are interested, please consider supporting me as you guys have been already. And I'm very grateful. And the amount of support I've received from you guys and the comments I'm getting from you, honestly, is like unexpected. You know, you see people on YouTube saying, oh, thank you for the support. Thank you for the support. Man, you really don't know what it means until people are actually supporting you and helping you, you know, push your business forward and giving you their business. It's honestly crazy and I'm super grateful. Thank you guys. So these 15 are getting shipped out today, tomorrow, the other five, but I'm placing an order. Well, I have already confirmed the order. They're working on it. I'm ordering a hundred more of these, you guys. So it's, it's a huge investment for me. It's super risky. It's very scary, but if you guys can put in your pre-orders, you know, obviously it gives me confidence to keep going and keep ordering more hardware. So it comes in faster and faster for you guys. And obviously to support this business to be able for it to grow because every business has to be you know profitable for it to succeed and be sustainable but if you guys are interested check out the website last time i'm going to say it soloblock.io get your pre-orders in almost everything is coming in early these came in right on expected the next five that one is just coming one day late so i try to get them out asap right when it comes in because I know a lot of you guys are impatient and believe me, I'm impatient too when it comes to shipping things, especially mining hardware. I want everything fast. So I feel you guys. So in return, what I do is try to get things as soon as I get them. I don't waste any time. These just came in 30 minutes ago. I'm packing them. I'm getting it out for you guys no matter what. All right, guys, that's all I have to say. If you guys are interested, check out the site. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Peace.